Okay. So at the Samsung's recent unpacked event, Samsung announced the Galaxy S23 and the S23 Plus, aside from the S23 Ultra. In this video, we're going to talk about top 5 features of the Galaxy S23 and the S23 Plus. And there is a surprise. And the first one has to be the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 made for Galaxy in this case. Now, all the Galaxy S23 lineup are powered by the all-new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy Silicon. Now, this is something different, right? Which is actually an overclocked variant of the standard Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is already great, but this is the fastest Snapdragon ever, according to Qualcomm. But how better the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy compared to the regular variant? Well, the silicon made for Samsung has an upgraded prime CPU core, the X3 core, running at 3.36 GHz compared to the standard one's 3.2 GHz. And there is an upgrade in the GPU as well. Qualcomm also claims that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy is actually more power efficient compared to the standard Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 silicon, which is again is much better than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. And on to everything else, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy is even smarter than the regular Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. The Galaxy S23 Silicon is actually including Qualcomm's latest AI engine and sensing hub and comes with dual AI processor which enables on-device AI experiences like echo cancelling and noise cancellation during calls. So that means it's better in every single places. But not just that, it also comes with ray tracing capabilities when you are playing some supported games. And the next feature is actually in the storage capacity. But for the S23 Plus though, this year the S23 Plus is actually starting at 256 instead of 128GB and there is an optional 512GB 8GB variant. Whereas the standard S23 is not getting an upgrade as such. It's still starting at 128GB and there will be a 256GB option which is I think enough for most people. But the second thing is that the 256GB variant of the S23 or the S23 Plus is actually using the UFS 4.0 technology. The 128GB model is still a UPS 3.1. Now that's not slow by any means, but it's comparatively slower. Now both versions are actually using LPDDR5X RAM though, so that's actually good. But the 128GB is quite slower. The battery is also getting an upgrade. This year, both of the phone is actually getting 200 more image battery compared to last year's models. But as far as the chargings are concerned, well, you're gonna get 25W max fast charging on the S23 and 45W max fast charging on the S23 Plus. Both of them come with the same 15W wireless charging though. And the next best feature is actually the Gorilla Glass Victus 2 that is protecting both the front and the rear of both of these phones. So in this case, it is actually really, really good because according to Corning, Gorilla Glass Victus 2 was made to withstand drops against one of the strongest surfaces like concrete or asphalt. So they have emphasized the concrete a lot. So in this case, you're probably gonna have a better drop protection. So yeah, that's probably it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below which one you're grabbing, the S23, S23 Plus or the Ultra model. And if you are grabbing one, then definitely check out my one video on the pricing as well as the pre-order deals. Okay, after releasing this free 8K wallpaper pack, here is absolutely stunning 8K wallpaper pack called Lightbeam. On any monitor, computer, tablet or even smartphone, it looks awesome. Want to see right away on your devices? Visit my website, link down below. It's for everything tech, where you will find free watch faces and tons of tech news much faster than these videos. So definitely visit it. Until the next one, bye and take care.